Alright, so this morning we're at a cute ass place. It's a tiny mom and pop shop that we just found on the side of the hotel. There's literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little tables. There's two to four people per table, so max you could fit 30 people in this restaurant. And it's right on the street right here. And you can see how small this place is. It's tiny. That's it. But what they specialize in is abalone, which is something that is not part of my daily diet. One. 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 So everyone gets the abalone porridge, which is what we're gonna get is the abalone porridge. I've never tried that before. I think I, my dad did make abalone once. But I wasn't really a big fan, but when in Rome, you know, we gotta do what the Koreans do. So I'm gonna try it all out. Oh, the side dishes look so good all the time. Ooh la la, jong kwa. Ooh la la, jong kwa. Well, that's that seafood hot pot. Oh, I feel like Ooh. legit. Can we have some more? And then we got Thank abalone you. porridge, which looks, looks interesting. But that's what they're known for. Are you scared? I feel like Koreans. I don't know. I, 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 it's my. It's similar pellets. So I like Korean food. So I'm not. I'm not scared. It's, it's not gonna be tasting Chinese. It's actually really good. Really? Ooh, that's that's really that. Good. Wow. Yes. It's like 9% Chinese. It's really, really good. 9% Chinese? They're so foggy. It's so steamy. Because you're right over the Yeah, thing. it looks so funny. Alright, moment of truth. This abalone porch. Let's try the abalone. It's bomb. Mm. Right? It's really very good. good. Very, very good. And then I'm going to eat a piece of abalone. Abalone for your homie. Mmm. It's a good texture too. It's like squid but softer. Did you get a piece? I'm okay. I have one thing at a time. Yeah, okay, one step at a time. Yeah. This is very good. I like it. I could see myself eating this every every morning. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so this stuff came out really good. As you can see, it was cleared everything. Make the dad joke. Make the dad joke. What's it? I hated it. It wasn't that good. It wasn't that good. <laughs> you were cutie. So, Mama, you want to know what's the green stuff? No. Don't tell me. Okay, I'll tell you guys what the green stuff is because no, I found I'm out right what it was. Here. Close your ears. Outside. Oh, boy. Alright, so Jeremy told me what the green stuff was. Don't tell me. And it's okay. actually, it's a huge flavor agent. Go inside, monkey man. Okay, fine. So the green stuff is, you know when you crack open a crab, there's all those crab guts that people really <laughs> that people really like to eat. They throw on rice, they'll put on soy sauce or like a fried egg or whatever. So abalone has its own guts and it's also green because it's seafood. So there's a lot of green guts everywhere. And they when they cook the abalone, the green guts splurts out all over the place. And that's also the flavoring agent. Hey monkey man, come with me. I want to show you something. Let's see if we can see it. I'll show you what you just ate. It's pretty cool. Because we did walk by not too far ago. Oh, there it is. So, remember the, the porridge you had in the morning? Yeah. Do you remember what the name of the meat inside was called? No, <laughs> it's called abalone. Abalone. Yeah. So, it's abalone. And I'm going to show you what abalone is. And this is what you ate in the morning. Yeah. Ready? Yep. This is abalone right here. Is that the thing you see the this? Shells? Yeah. So all you see these things in the shell? That's what we ate in the morning. That's what we ate in those shells? No, the what you, the other shells you ate were clams. Oh. But this is abalone, and maybe I can show you what the shell looks like. Oh, that's what the shell looks like. So that's what the top looks like. You see that top of the shell right there? That's abalone, and, then, and that's the bottom. That's the part you ate. So you can't eat this part because that's hard. It's like a hard shell. But look at this. This is what you ate, monkey. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? You ate abalone. That. We've been trying coffee everywhere we go. So we found this little mom and pop shop called Bao Nova. And this place looks freaking legit. They got, what are those squiggly things called? The pig's tail glass thing. Kyoto oh, right. iced coffee. Kyoto iced coffee. And what are those machines over there? Roasting machines? These are like micro roasters. 
So oh. like, uh, like fresh. Yeah, small batch. So yeah, Vince and Jeremy are coffee masters. <laughs> this is next level. Oh yeah, what's that big ass machine over there? That's, just, that's a coffee roaster. Yeah? So yeah, I don't know anything. So they put the coffee and it, it like swirls around that thing. Yeah. And then when it when it's done, they pour that liver and it, it goes into like a bucket or a bag. So is that like... That's raw bean right there. Oh, it's raw bean? Yeah. Where it doesn't look dark brown yet? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I see. So yeah, this place looks crazy legit because look at their cold brew, the way they sell it. It's like in a wine bottle. So it's like a cold brew concentrate. So every time I go to a new place like this, I always ask them like, what's your favorite? Or what, if I can only have one, what do I, what do you recommend? And usually I always go with that, the number one or whatever they say. But for some reason, I was so compelled to get the handmade English milk tea. Because he says it's also very good, but he highly recommended the ice latte. And I was like, even over the bao latte. Because usually, you know, usually like if they have the name of the place in the drink, which is Bao Nova, they have it in the, in the drink, it's usually like their main thing. He said ice latte is the go-to. So Gio got that. I'm gonna try the handmade English milk tea. But the way this guy talks about coffee, seems like he really loves coffees and teas. Ice. Hey, son of a chip, son of a chip. <laughs> Let's try this handmade English milk tea. I wonder if that's just like another way of saying Earl Grey. <laughs> You're like, this is a dope coffee spot. Let me get milk tea. <laughs> yeah, well, it just caught my eye. It's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's extremely spectacular, but it's good. But maybe I should have listened to him and just got the uh, ice latte. How's the ice latte? It's good. Awesome. Was it? No, uh, Jill's gonna get it. So I'll try it. Was it uh, knock your socks off, or it's just like, oh, it's okay. I taste good. It's solid. Yeah. But it's kind of like one of those things where you don't taste the entire coffee bean. Oh. You don't know how, what the milk tasted like. I it see. Could I be see. Sweet itself. Oh. And then it makes it taste even better. Yeah. But the overall drink is really good. I see. I see. Yeah. All right. So we uh, yesterday we're coming out of the Korean market. We saw this really cool building, right? Not too sure what it is, but there's that like escalator type thing in there. So that's where we're heading to right now. Just going to explore. Literally not knowing the language, not knowing what it's about, but we're just gonna stick our nose around, ask some questions, and see if there's anything we can learn and get involved in. Oh, it might be a temple. There's a Buddha right there. How cool. Is that an escalator? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right, going up the escalator. Wow, so this is what the escalator opens up to. Dude, this really, I don't even know what to make of it. It's like a park, but not really a park. It's like a majestic park. And that's Pusan Tower up there. Wow. It says, Long Tosan Gong Yuan, which means Dragon Head Mountain Park. So, little known fact, before Korea had their own language or written language of the circles and squares, all of Asia at one point used to speak in Chinese. So Japan, Korea, China. So any old scriptures, what was cool about then is that technically all the Asian countries could generally understand each other. And so if you look at the old Korean stuff, it's still written in Chinese and that's how I know. That's what it says. But in Korean, I think it was called Yang Dusan or something like that. And there's this really beautiful Korean building, Bell. Hey, monkey man. What do you think about the Korean warrior? <laughs> it's a Korean warrior. A dragon. Is it a dragon? Oh yeah, that's really cool. Dragon. Okay, careful, Paco, you gotta be careful, okay? I have an egg. Be careful. Are you gonna catch it? Here, okay, catch it. Oh, it almost cracked. Are you kidding me? It's not a makeup thing, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what? Stop yeah. picking on me, I saw I'll pick on you. Oh. <laughs> With a big finger? <laughs> Where'd you get that big finger from? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Alright, it's lunchtime, and there's no way we're leaving Korea without getting Korean barbecue and it's freaking cool that I can see the ocean from here all the way at the end of the tunnel you see the water but yeah we uh, walked by this place looks pretty dang good 
the marketing worked on us the images don't know if they're stock images or not but sounds like a good idea so we're coming in here and there's a cow that gives me a thumbs up okay so the lady speaks zero <laughs> english so we're just doing sign languages and noises back and forth but what's really cool is but they do have the, <laughs> the suction thing and it goes all the way down so that's pretty cool that's legit and then we have real charcoal which is really cool so it's not propane or nothing see that yep that's that real real so you know the meat's gonna be really good closing that up because the kids are over there <laughs> yep snake and uh there's no english menu a lot of places in korea have english menu but she just pointed at something told us to get that so i think we might just get that yep she does give me like loving grandma vibes so i don't think she's gonna screw us over so we're just gonna have to believe in her <laughs> all right this looks like some legit poncho i've never even seen this before i believe that's wood ear and then that's some crazy is that collard greens <laughs> yeah. Right? It looks like collard greens. I don't know. How is it? You'd be the first taste, Vince. Is this, this seaweed? I think it's woodier. Yeah. Should be crunchy. Stop. Should be a crunchy yeah. texture. Like sour. Sour, right? Sweet sour. Can you try the collard greens? Is that collard greens? <laughs> it's probably spinach. It doesn't look like spinach though. Um, <laughs> it's like what is fermented it? collard greens. Yeah. For real? Not? See, I've never tasted anything like that, but that sauce looks, like, I don't want to try that That sauce looks legit too. All right, hopefully that's beef or something. So we got the first pieces of meat on the table with some actual charcoal and wood on here. Nice. Ooh, here's some more familiar stuff. Green onion. Okay, it says Ma Bear chose this place. Oh, no, no, no. We all chose this. The one I wanted to was across the way. No, no, no. This is the one you chose. Let's see. Let's see. It's about to be amazing. Let's see. I'm just kidding. It's good? Mm. Ooh, nice. Very good. Yeah. Actually, turned out to be pretty successful. We all get this dope soybean too. We get more kimchi. Everything's looking more familiar. We get a big thing of beef fat to cook the meat in, making Thai guys little, little little lunch, little lunch box. It's looking pretty good. It's looking like a good spread. <laughs> You're you welcome thinking? everybody. You're welcome. I yeah. picked it. <laughs> pretty sure that one across the street is still better than that. <laughs> so these are the capsule cars that we're gonna be going on. And it goes all the way out over the ocean, which is pretty cool. All right, here we go. Let's go. Thank you. All right, so we're going on the tracks now. And there's one going that way, one coming back. And eventually we're going to go over to the ocean pretty cool pretty cool right super cool this is awesome and it's a little bit chilly because we're right next to the water yeah but everything's enclosed so it's nice and comfy and you get to sit and enjoy the ride yeah you feel a little bit of a nice breeze coming in what were you about to say you don't touch anything don't touch anything that's what, what he said. said don't touch everything don't touch everything don't touch everything yeah you like love them that never touch oh yeah oh, yeah those are our friends oh man look that looks beautiful. Stunning. The beautiful bay of Pusan. Look at those rocks down there. I want to go swimming. I don't even know what that is, but it's cool. Oh, look at that. There's a little peninsula that sticks out, approaching a little town. And there's a lighthouse at the end of it. Or two of them. Yeah. There's two lighthouses. That's a beautiful view. Oh, cool. Look at that. There's a train coming. Choo choo. That's really cool. Choo choo choo. Sorry. Just got back home. Took a shower. 
from a very, very CUNY day in Pusan. And Monkey Man, you wanna show them your cool prank toy? <laughs> point, 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 point. Yeah, we had a really good time today. Saw a lot of Pusan this trip, which is really, really cool. But now we're pooped, exhausted, and time to go to bed. Tomorrow, what are we gonna do? I'm not sure, but tomorrow's our last day. So it is possible I may not vlog tomorrow. We might just be doing a bunch of shopping, buying gifts for friends and family. Um, I guess you guys, you guys will find out as long as me. Uh, if we do something cool tomorrow, for sure, I'll vlog it because I'm all about um, keeping all these memories and recording them. But if not, we'll see you back in the States. Love you guys and thank you, bye. And thank you guys for enjoying this beautiful trip in Korea with us.